This morning in the Kitchen Chef, Kevin Goudreau is here from KG Kitchen Bar. We have got one heck of a menu for you this morning. What do we got? We're going to do a little uh, curry rubbed uh, pork tenderloin mm. with some Swiss chard. I've got a little farro and it'll make a little apple chutney to kind of bring it all together. And it already smells delicious. Something about curry and yeah. the, those warming spices, it will just put you in a good mood. Yeah, I mean, this is a great blend. It's a madras curry, so mm -hmm. it's not too hot, but it has some sweetness to it. A lot of great aromatics. Yeah. We're picking all that up now. So um, it goes really well in uh, with the uh, tartness of the apples and a little rice mm -hmm. wine vinegar and the scallions. Just kind of brings all a well-balanced dish together. So so take us through the other ingredients. I know you mentioned some of them sure. to start, but what, what will we use? I have some Swiss chard over here, mm -hmm. um, which we're going to melt down with our farro. I got, I'm going to make a little sweet potato puree. I've got some brown sugar, rice wine vinegar, mm. obviously the curry. Um, we're going to finish it off with a little demi glaze right here. This is a, uh, my famous green oil that all my young cooks Ooh. always give me trouble about. Fancy. Um, obviously the pork tenderloin itself, which has been cleaned, I've already put a dry rub on it, so mm -hmm. it's uh, it's going to be quick and ready to go. What apple, any apples in particular you that know, you suggest? You can do any kind. These um, I stole from my wife this morning. She's a oh, teacher, okay. and I was leaving the house. I didn't have any apples, and she's like, you're taking So a my teacher's apples? apple. Yes. So make sure you steal your teacher's apple for this recipe. No, so no. I owe her two <laughs> apples. I think these are crisp and apples, but um, Granny Smith work really well. They kind of okay. tart, yeah. um, which will kind of cut through the sweetness of the curry and stuff, but whatever you like. And I love that you've kind of made some healthy swaps here, too. Your sweet potato is great, the Swiss chard, even the farro. Yes. It's a really healthy starch. Yes, it's a very popular little item right now. Mm -hmm. We're doing a little vegetarian dish at the restaurant with farro, wheat berries, roasted uh, seasonal vegetables. It's going over really well. So Yeah, you could feel good when you eat this dish. We're going to get cooking in just a bit. All right. We're back in the Roadshow Kitchen. we got a lot of things going on. We're going to get this, uh, this tenderloin ready. A lot of times when I will cook a tenderloin, and I don't know if you should do this all the time, but I will, if I put it on the grill outside, I will... I'll butterfly it because sometimes it takes a little a little yep. extra time and I want to make sure that that everything is cooked, cooked, all, the way, cooked all the way through. Sure. Um, you know, the, the tenderloin uh, is, a, is a great piece of meat. It's very lean. Right. So if you're going to cook it on the grill, I cook it slow mm -hmm. on a lower temperature on the grill. Um, let it give a few extra minutes to cook and then take it off and let it rest a little bit. So don't take it right off the grill. Okay. And then you know, cut it and serve it. So if you let the meat rest, it's actually going to continue to cook. Right. And you'll have a better product at the end of it. Okay. And, and it's a, just an easier way. It doesn't get all charred and charred like and everything that. else. Although yeah. I do like it a little crispy on the on the outside. You know, okay. some char on the sure. outside is always you know is always good. Adds a little extra flavor. But uh, yeah, I will. I'll slice it up yeah. in butterfly. Just let it rest a little bit and you know it'll just be perfect. All for right. You. Good. So so this here this smells great. By yeah. The way. Thank you. I'm starting the uh, apple chutney so um, from the previous segment I, I've since taken the raw product the apple there and I diced it down mm -hmm. I'm sweating it with some uh, brown sugar and some rice wine vinegar and that's nice. going to kind of create like a simple syrup in here yeah. as the uh, apples begin to wilt down they're going to let out their juices so we're going to have this really sweet and spicy kind of action going on here really good I'm going to add a few uh, roasted red peppers and some scallions towards the end of mm -hmm. the dish right now um, I've also taken that sweet potato peeled it Dice it very small, and I'm quickly boiling that down because we're going to make a puree out of this, and this is going to be uh, on the bottom of the plate. We'll paint the plate with this puree. Um, Swiss chard's ready to go, but the big thing we need to get going on right now is searing the tenderloin. So this is a hot pan. Yep. You just want to get a little bit of oil in there. Uh -huh. And I want to hit it again with that dry rub. So this is a madras curry. It's got some fennel seeds, cumin seeds in there. It's, a su it's more on the sweeter side, not oh. a really hot curry. Right. All right. So Put that on. Get a nice little sizzle. We're going to get a nice little sizzle going on there. And you're sealing it in so it doesn't dry, so exactly. it doesn't dry out either. So what's going to happen is when we finish this dish, it should be nice, uh, pink, juicy in the middle, right. but still kind of cooked through. Um, you can eat, I, people order it medium rare, right. you know, medium. You don't have to always cook All it right. well done. Sounds good. Um, so we will let this go. We'll let the sizzle away for a little bit. We'll put this, uh, put this whole thing together. Give this a try. And just a little while back to you.